So I did get the second shot a couple days ago, and I'm so mad now. Got me all jacked up. I was kind of messed up yesterday. So I woke up late this morning. I wasn't able to participate in the sneaker pass, so didn't get a chance. I hope some of you guys hit. We'll see what happens. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Cool with Cool Kicks. We are back for another video, guys. We are here in Compton. So you know I got to hit up the Foot Locker. You know I got to hit up the Shoe Palace across the street. Foot Locker is insane. It's in its own planet. It like, it's like way different from anything else out there. So yeah, let's go see what's up. Let's see if they got any restocks on anything dope. I heard the spot has been having dope stuff. I don't know if they had the same stuff as Inglewood, but yeah, let's go see what's up. This place is really, really big, you guys. I think this is one of the biggest Foot Lockers around. It is one of the most hyped stores. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping they got what I think they got. All right, so they don't have the Toros up there. But they do have a couple of sizes left, size eight and a half and nines, I think. Eight, eight and eight and a half, maybe eight and eight and a half. So I'll post that just in case any of you guys need any. Um, nothing too crazy in the Jordan section that we see so far. All right, do I even show you guys these? Like we've seen this at every spot. Do also have these bad boys. These are the Jordan 1 Low Reverse Bread 2.0s. Not too shabby, I do prefer the original one. They also got these, the Comfort, the CMFTs, and the material on these, man, they're super nice, dude. Super freaking nice. Know that they're comfortable as hell. They are coming out with 11s and a few of the other Comforts as well. Yeah, not bad, not bad. What are these, what, a buck 40? Buck 40? People are settling for these because you can't even find a Jordan 1 High nowadays. Yeah. Damn, look at how many slides they got. No Jordan Hydros though, which are my favorite slides. These champion ones do got a lot of flavor. Um, looks like they got our support too, but it's like hard as hell. Holy crap. Those are going for 40 bucks. A couple more chance ones. Those are all 40. This is 35. But there's like, man, there's like no cushioning on them whatsoever. All right, apparently none of these have cushioning. $30 for these. The Adelette slides right here. These are going for 25. These actually have some comfy foam on them. These are the Asunas. These are going for 45 bucks. I don't, this, this part's just way too fat for me. This part's way too fat. But the, not bad. Is that Nelly in the background? Oh, I haven't heard this song in forever. All right, so we do have the Hydro 5s. Finally found a Hydro. Do love these. Y'all sleeping on them. Super dope. $58 though, kind of pricey though. Maybe that's the, that's the point. Do have a few more slides. These are the Chinatown Market. That's going for 60. Does have that furry material up top. 60 bucks is kind of, Kind of steep though. Then got these Chinatown markets as well. Kind of steep. These are 50. Um, you know, there's like no cushioning. None, dude. We do got some Birkenstocks as well. That's hella hilarious to see these. Buck 35, man. Wow. But you know, these do literally do last forever. Like, you know, it is made out of real leather and all that stuff. So literally it last forever. I touched it and it like took 10 minutes to put that back on. It's the same problem too. They're so light, that's why. So we got the plastic one, 45 for those. And then Birkenstocks makes regular slides and they still $40? Are you serious? 40 bucks for these, no cushioning? Yeah, forget that. All the New Balance fans out there, these are the 990s. These are made in America, freaking dope. The material supposedly super, super nice on these. Those of you guys that aren't very familiar with New Balance, how do I know they're made in America? Because it says really big on the front. They have some that are made in the UK as well. Supposedly, these are just fire, dude. It doesn't, it like, these are 170. It does make sense that those are a little bit more because US labor is a lot more expensive. That's dope that they have those. Few different colorways, all going for 175. At least, at least if you buy these, at least you can use a $10 coupon. Make sure you guys fill out your surveys whenever you buy anything at Foot Locker Champs or anything like that. And you do get a $10 coupon. That's pretty dope. So instead of $175, you could pay $165. So not too shabby. This one has all kinds of flavor. Okay. All right. To be honest, I am more of a fan of these OG old school look. The 574s just look fantastic. They do use suede on them as well. Do like the $60 price point as well. These are fire. Oh, so I think that's $64 dollars and these are 85 so maybe if i can find those on sale yeah these are 80 as well too these are fire dude and the rebox and the iverson section i think this is the same stuff that we had last time but i will show them again these are the hot ones collab this is a collab between the youtube show hot ones which is owned by complex and obviously they own a bunch of sneaker stuff 
Yeah, it does have the Scoville levels because it's all about eating hot wings on that show. Yeah, that's definitely interesting. Definitely not boring. Do you got these bad boys and super shiny and this is hella big, dude. That's hella big. 140 for all these. That is the going rate for the Iversons. This is kind of interesting. It's like a like a plastic over because I don't think it's a patent leather. This is kind of interesting. All right. It does have nubuck on the top or is that a synthetic nubuck? I got these, man. I think these, these are my favorite ones colors wise. And these are fire, dude. I don't know. Maybe these will go on sale. Hey, guys, make sure you guys don't buy these. Maybe they'll go on sale and maybe I can pick them up. And then got these as well, the buck 20. And then a hundred dollars for these. These are not bad. These are not bad. Got the kamikazes. Um, like I like the original color. I'm not too big a fan of these. And then the Grant Hills. Grant Hill 96. Man, these are just fire. I, I do prefer the original colorway. Red, not too shabby. Okay, so they do have size eight and eight and a half for the Toros here. All the cook groups got the bigger sizes. But yeah, look at that, dude. These are just fire. These are insane. Man, I usually don't like red sneakers like that, but like, I don't know. There's something about this one. I don't know if it's a suede. The suede material isn't the like the softest suede ever, but it is suede and um, that's better than other leather, <laughs> I guess. But um, it, this is just dope. Super, super dope. I'm a fan, I'm a fan. I'm glad I got mine. I haven't gotten it yet, but I will eventually. I did have the homegirl bring this out just because I wanted to show it in my thumbnail. So that's why I was like, hey, do you mind just bringing me one out just so I could take a look at it, so I could take a picture. That is fire. And I love the box too. Look at that box, dude. That's fire. Dang. Apparently Adidas not super popular in Compton because they their selection, not the biggest. Apparently people in Compton do not buy Ultra Boost. I see zero Ultra Boost here. That's hella interesting. That's hella interesting, wow. Do like the old school, can't go wrong with the Stan Smith. These are dope with the blue on the back. The navy colorway, $80 for those. Canvas, so this is the heart, the Nizzas. The Nizzas going for 40. Got the extra high top that like cover your knees just in case you need a shin guard for something. Buck 10 for those bad boys. Then you got the red sibling right there. I was like, what's on the back? Wild Stallions, that is dope. That's all from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. That's freaking crazy. I didn't know that. That's dope. I know one of the characters from Bill and Ted wore these because one of you guys educated me on that. I didn't know I had Wall Stallions in the back. That's dope. Oh, okay. We do have two pair of Ultra Boost. Of course, they're on sale because apparently people out here don't wear Ultra Boost. I don't know why. They're comfortable. And that's about it. No real big deals, no steals in the Adidas section today. Do you got a couple 4D things? And yeah, have this as well. Okay. Then got these as well, 380s. 380s just chilling. That's crazy that 380s are just chilling out, out and about, huh? That's insane. If those of you guys, those of you guys that have seen my channel, I have been here a few times. They do showcase a lot of the local artists here, which is pretty freaking dope. Do have local brands, like I've never even heard of this brand before, but they do have shirts, $40, that's pretty dope. Materials like really, really, ooh. Materials are like top notch on this thing, look at, Look at the top elastic portion right there. Super, super fat. Like the color scheming and, and everything's not for me, but the quality of the shirt, that's what's up. Do you got sweatshirts going for 80. This is a signature carrots hoodie. I've never heard of this brand, but like I said, they are local, small local artists and stuff or small local business owner. That's pretty dope. And broke and bored. I guess this is one of the local skate, skating companies. I don't know. Is that what it's called? I don't know. But yeah, broken board, $60 for these. Okay. All right, that's pretty dope. Slossienega, mixture of Slossin and La Cienega. Okay, okay. These are going for $60. Has, I guess, uh, I don't know, is that the Skyline or the Skyline of Palm Trees? Okay. Compton Flight Crew, that's the name of this company. $35 for these shirts. Same company, $60 for the hoodies. Does say Compton Boulevard on it. All right. Compton Art Walk. Got a couple of shirts. I just checked the price. I didn't see $35 for these. And then they got these for $35. Okay. That's actually a dope shirt. Let's go see what's up with the kids section. This place is such a big store. They even have a kind of a separate kids section because you can even get stuff on Kids Foot Locker here. Okay. Starting off with a little bit of fire in the GS section. Not too shabby. This is a 6Y. Do have the threes, you guys. These are dope. 
man like the material like uh, this one is not as smooth as the men's pair but but yeah that's still dope not only the cool guys they do have the reverse food poison games right here reverse food poison 12 then they got the lucky green 13s what i don't even know what the kids jordans even go for all those going for a buck 40 a piece do have a girl's version of this as well i don't know is this not just a girl's version i don't know buck 10 for these bad boys for the eights we saw both of these at inglewood for the same price but look at this look at this the Kyrie's going for 70 for 60 dollars my bad 60 bucks and those are the new ones wow do got the sixes right next door going for 50 blazers Christmas colorway going for 50 bucks. The Air Max Ones going for 90 bucks. Kids, dang, they got quite a few Air Max Ones on sale for the kids. 80 bucks for these. The only one I've seen with the round laces going for $80. And then these red boys, okay, 80 bucks for these Oreo colorway. Do got a pair of RSX on sale. Those are all white, that's actually pretty dope. Is this the Super Mario one? This is. The RSO, I think. The Super Mario RSO. Wow, that's crazy. 50 bucks for those. A pair of Dreamers right there. Oh, my bad. These are one of the Dreamers. My bad, you guys. I know Puma fans are going to be mad. Do got another one of those. Oh, the Lakers colorway also on sale. I did forget to show what I was wearing. Air Force 2s, you guys. And I talked to a few of the workers. Nobody really knows about the Air Force 2s. I don't know. There might be some of you guys. This is the bread colorway of the Air Force 2s. And it's crazy because like I haven't seen these in a while. They, I think these came out in like 2018. I haven't seen them in forever. I think the resale on these is kind of high too, just because you don't see them anymore. And then I do live in LA, so I'm wearing a tank top and shorts, you guys, because it's like 80 to 85 degrees outside. Na 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 boo boo. Our weather is better. Yes. All right, not seeing too much heat in the women's. Then we'll cut it short. Let's go across the street and see what's up at Shoe Palace. Place is dope though. I'm a huge fan of this place. Uh, but yeah, let's go see what's up across the street. Shoe Palace Compton, let's go see what's up, you guys. So this is a pretty, pretty big store. Not the biggest, but they do have a lot, a lot of heat here. Yeah, let's kind of see what's up. I guess these Yeezy 380s are not selling out because this is the second place we've seen this just today. That is crazy that 380s not selling out. I think this is a smaller size though. I think the men's size is gold, the size three, so it just covers like kids and men, which is funny. They definitely have a lot more Ultra Boost than across the street. They even got some on sale, buck 30 for these, so $50 off, not too bad. 50 bucks off of these as well, not too shabby at all, no gosh. But buck 30 for these bad boys, okay, okay. Buck 30 for these bad boys too, these are super clean, big fan of those. Oh, and then 100 for these, oh my God, that's a hell of a great price for those. $80 off, that's what's up. The women's section got these for a buck fifty. Buck eighty for these. I like that colorway for some reason. Dan Smith's going for thirty dollars? That's insane. Thirty freaking dollars. That's that's what's up. Love these Oreos, but 180, a little too pricey for me. And they got a few different superstars, pretty dope. Or a couple. Nike basketball area right here. Okay. We have been seeing a lot of the LeBron 18s on sale. That's pretty freaking dope. It's kind of crazy that. The basketball season's almost coming to an end. That's crazy. Zoom Freaks, do I even still show these? $80 to these. We've seen these on sale everywhere. Y'all need some running shoes. Legend React on sale, 70 bucks. Normally over $100, so that's not bad. Oh, oh man, these are so dope. Look at this, dude. All white. Oh my God, and it's $70? Oh my goodness, really? $70 for this? I do have to pick up my Hyper Royals tomorrow though, and yeah, I do have quite a lot of stuff at home that I just spent money on. Oh my God, I want these for $70. Oh my God. Size 11 might be the biggest size. I do know that the Air Max 90s do tend to run a little bit small though. So damn, dude, $70, wow. Damn, I did just try this on. I so can, I so can fit that, but damn, dude, I got money up in the Hyper Royals. I gotta go pick mine up. And then um, I also got other stuff. I do wanna show it to you guys. But damn, that's crazy, dude, that's crazy. Damn, those are just too clean. I'm gonna regret not getting those, watch, man. I'm too freaking clean, you guys, damn. See, these are the other white ones. Like, tell me that all other one is way cleaner. Like, I just, I prefer it. I know it's not as comfortable because the nylon does give a little bit more, but still. Ooh, this does have the gun bottom, though. Ooh, wee, ooh, wee. So that's dope. Buck 20, not as dope, once again. But still not too bad. 
people can't get their hands on the Jordan 1 mids and the Jordan 1 highs. So are they gonna go to the Boros next? Is that gonna be next? These are on sale for 50. Is that the next hype sneaker? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Y'all know I've been a fan of those. Not a fan of the 170 though. 120 for these. We've seen these at 120 for quite some time. These are the 72818s. Then more gum. More all white with the gum. They know that's a fire combo. So yeah, buck 50 for these. These are the Air Max 270. Interesting color max of the Air Max 97s. Do you have a little bit of suede on them? Not the, not the smoothest, but it's 170 for those. This colorway's been out for, I think, about a month or so. Buck 70 for those as well. I got these. I know they're out in the huge, huge, huge sizes. They do have uh, various sizes at certain spots. These are the Airmore of Tempos, aka of Tempo 96s. Pegasus 35s down to 60 bucks. Pretty, pretty good deal on these. Dang. What is this called? The Genomes? I've never seen this Air Max. It does have a full length Air Max unit. I'm not really familiar with this. Okay. All right. These are going for a buck 70, a little pricey. More Air Max 90s on sale. These are going for 90 freaking dollars. Not too shabby. Wait, 99.98, my bad. 100 bucks. Then they do got these. I see a seven and a half, eight and eight and a half on display. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on these, like I said, because I, I got some hyper world ones coming and stuff, so I need, I need to worry about that stuff. This is a Jordan section, a little better than most other places. Do you got the Hydro 5s, the ones that you guys are all sleeping on? $58 for these. Then the Bel Airs. I know these don't have resale and whatnot, but these are still dope. I still haven't had a chance to put mine on. I think this upcoming week, I'm gonna wear these. We are in the women's section. Do see some Air Max 98s, $100 for these. I think we saw all these on sale last time we came here. $100, $130 for these chocolate ones. Another one for 100, colorways not bad on that at all. These $100 as well, this is that pastel colorway. It's like a new buck too. No, this one is not on sale. Hope I didn't get you guys excited because all white, super dope. 170 for these bad boys as well. In the women's section, damn, they, they serving up some deals in the women's section. Look at these, these are going for $80. Damn, that's what's up, this is the OG Volt colorway. Can't go wrong with that. We saw these on sale for 50 bucks at other locations as well, super dope price. Then 100 for these. Some Court Visions. Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Court Visions, these are freaking dope. What is that, like, I do love the flavor on it. Like a leopard print or something. Price, $70, can't go wrong with that. So do you got those, that is a kid size right here. And I think that's about it. Not really seeing the craziest, craziest section. Not seeing the craziest, craziest stuff, you guys. You do see some of these, but this is the preschool section. And, and we've kind of seen a lot of that stuff in a lot of the preschool stuff. I think we're gonna wrap it up, you guys. Time to wrap it up, go to the next spot. All right, it's official, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. All right, I actually did come back. I did get a size eight and a half for one of my boys. We do have Chris here. And the reason I'm showing is because Chris actually came here because he saw my posting on Instagram. Yes, sir, I did. So, so he did come up on a size eight and a half. He, and that's your size, right? Yeah, eight and a half. So he got his size. You know, none of us are in crew groups and stuff, so we don't get any of the inside info. Yeah. So I'm trying to help you guys out. Chris, hey, good looking out. Thank you so much hey, for coming you, through. Thank you. Appreciate Was that. able to get his size. That's dope. Yes, that's that's sneakerheads helping out sneakerheads, you guys. Yes, sir. That's, that's what's up. Is. And look at that. And he got fire. He got, got ones on. Okay, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. 